Hey, what's up guys? Have you ever wanted to be able to feed your cat while you're away from the house for the day? I have found a perfect SmartThings integrated method to do just that. So after my latest Raspberry Pi Smart Mirror project that you may or may not have seen, I wanted to play around a little bit more with the Raspberry Pi, so I was browsing the web trying to find a new project that I wanted to do. So I found a couple pet food dispensers um, integrated with Raspberry Pi and an HTML web server or something like that. I wanted it to work with my SmartThings platform ideally so I can set schedules or use an action tiles panel to simply feed the cat with the push of the button whether I'm home or not. So I, I currently don't own any pets other than a few fish. So this may seem a little far fetched but we were talking about getting a pet or a cat for a while now. So I decided to go ahead and build this project just to mess around with the GPIO pins on a Raspberry Pi, just to see if I can get this working. So the way this works is actually extremely simple. I have a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B, a continuously rotational servo, and a cereal dispenser, all found on Amazon. I'll have the links down below. The servo has three wires on it, a ground, power, and a signal wire. I found an old cell phone charger I had. It's uh, five volts, 1.5 amps. I think it can take four to six volts, so that works. And a signal from the Raspberry Pi is how it runs. So it's just using a GPIO port to the signal wire on the continual rotational servo. More on that in the second part of this series. This video will be mostly just the build guide and how I put it all together and I'll show it run. So we have the three wires coming from the servo here. We have the ground power and the signal wire. I have the ground connected to the power supply as well as the servo, and it will go into the Raspberry Pi ground spot on the GPIO pins. Next to that pin, we have the GPIO 14, which is the one that I will be using to send the signal to the servo. And finally, the power supply for the Raspberry Pi itself. Alright, so here it is. Now this monstrosity here is the third rendition of what I put together. Um, just real quick, here's the Raspberry Pi of course. Uh, the servo is in here as you saw as I put it together. And here's the cereal dispenser. That's pretty much it. This is a plant holder. It's just something I found in my garage. I wasn't sure if it would work. This is the third rendition. I originally had a piece of plywood here and I was gonna make a whole stand for it in a big enclosure, but 
it was kind of, I would have had to run to the hardware store, let me just say that, and I didn't want to. So, when this is all finished, I will have a fake plant or something covering this whole enclosure here, obviously put the food in here, and I will have a old uh, decorative vase or something like that with a plant on top of it to make it look like it belongs. And then of course there will be a bowl under here with a little bit of a funnel here because it kind of goes everywhere as you'll see in a minute. But uh, yeah, I'll just have a bowl under there and uh, it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Just the servo is hot glued to the knob here and that's it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fill this up with, since I don't have a pet, I'm gonna fill this up with cereal again and then I will make a little makeshift funnel out of some paper or something so it doesn't go everywhere and grab a bowl and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got a bowl. I got the cereal dumped in here. Go ahead and put that underneath there. Uh, I forgot to make a little funnel for that, but oh well. Or I'm sorry, not cereal, this is cat food. Cat food. Who doesn't like uh, Fruit Loops anyway? All right, so right now I have the uh, Smart Things app open here. Obviously, this could run on action tiles through your Amazon Echo devices, through Ift, Stringify, etc. Um, like I said, I will have a second video to show the Python script and the PHP with the Smart app through Smart Things and how to get this signal from the uh, Raspberry Pi, or I'm sorry, from Smart Things to the Raspberry Pi out of this signal wire and into this servo. Anyway, I digress. Let's go ahead and try this out. Push. Okay, that's why I said you need a little bit of a funnel here to direct it, because it kind of went everywhere, but you get the idea. Let's try it again. Okay. Turn it this way so you can see it turning a little bit better. Let's refill this. All right, beautiful. So that's about that's about enough for a cat, wouldn't you say? That is if they eat fruit. Whoops. So yeah, like I said, um, after I'm done here, I will put like a fake plant or something over this just to make it look a little better. Obviously hide these cords. You could do it however you want, obviously. Um, so yeah, that's it for this one. There will be a part two explaining how I did uh, the software side of things. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a like down below if you enjoyed it. It helps me out so I know if you enjoy these types of videos. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on the second part of this as well as any future content. I will see you in the next one.